I put her to sleep Tuesday night around 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Normal night, she was happy, playing, standing up in her pack of play, took her upstairs. I put her in her crib. The next morning, I woke up around 7, peeked at the baby monitor, and saw that she was still sleeping. She wasn't moving. So I started doing preparations for her birthday party, which just mm -hmm. passed. Um, about 9 o'clock, I went in to her room to get her up for therapy, actually. And um, I noticed that her leg was hanging out of the crib. Didn't think anything of it because it's been hanging out before. Realized it was wedged pretty good. Took her out to the kitchen table and laid her on there to look at it. Noticed that it had nice sized marks on it and they were indented. Um, she wasn't acting too well. She didn't want to drink her bottle, so I Hi. decided to take her to St. Luke's. What are you doing? And get the that so you don't bang your head. Um, the bed would help because she doesn't feel pain. She doesn't know how to cry. She doesn't express any pain at all, discomfort, nothing. So, like the doctors in Danville said, they have one-year-olds that get stuck in cribs all the time, and they cry, they wake up, they fix their legs, their hands, their arms, whatever's hanging out, and they go back to sleep. But with Alyssa, she could have been stuck in that bed for 10 hours, and I had no idea because she didn't alert me. She didn't wake me, she didn't cry, 